Let's go over his stats a bit here. He comes actually with a little bit of his limit gauge filled up. That's kind of weird. But he does have decent strength. You know, it's right around the middle, somewhere between Fred and Olive. We have to look at the top stats because the bottom stats are, of course, equipment dependent. So we can't really look at those just yet. His dexterity, pretty average. His vitality, well, Fred's is buffed from 59, but still 59. So he's got pretty low vitality, but he's in the back row, so it doesn't really matter that much. His magic, though, is pretty low. It's even lower than Fred's, and Fred's not my best magic user. All of his. She's actually pretty damn good with it. Spirit, also low, so pretty weak to magic. His luck, and who really cares, but it's... I guess on the lower side, I don't know, I don't pay much attention to luck. Now, I have not used Stefan much in the past, primarily because I didn't like his limit breaks. His limits work different than anybody else's in the game. He only has one limit per level, so there's no second limit that needs to be learned. As such, I don't need to use his limit very often, so even putting him in the front row and giving him cover really isn't that great of an option. But if he's in the back row, he could become a tank. Not a particularly good one, but he could. In terms of what his limits do, they morph him. He turns into another animal, in this case a Galian Beast, which we have not seen, I don't believe is an enemy in the game. If I'm wrong, I haven't encountered it in such long, so long that I forgot that it was, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, what happens is that he becomes uncontrollable. He pretty much berserks himself and morphs into an animal. As a result, I typically don't like using his limit breaks very much, but that's probably because I never used them properly. I will be trying to show those off. Well, I will show those off eventually, but I'll try to show them off during the normal run through of the game, at least at some point, but not right now. Uh, in order to get the next levels for Stefan, you have to kill enemies, not use the limit break. So even if you don't like it, it's not that big of a deal. You don't have to use it in order to get the next one, but I'll try to get the next ones somewhere along the line. Uh, I won't be using him because he is a uh, high level, as I went over before, compared to... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Uh, compared to other people, right? 29. We got some people in the 20s. Dat my ho is at 28. I probably don't care that much and I'm going to keep him back anyway. Uh, but he's pretty much the highest person outside of Fred right now, so we're going to stay away from him for a bit. I'm going to rearrange my party. I'm going to heal. And I'll meet you back in town. Back in town. I have rearranged the party. We have Fred, Olive, and Soap with us. Soap does need to get his limit break so that we can learn that level 4 one eventually. That's going to take some time, but we might as well get started now. In terms of equipment, I have changed things around just a bit. We do have the fire ring on Olive and the sprint shoes on Soap. There's nothing more. Yeah, nothing that I really want here, unfortunately. That magic comb still the best thing that I got because of that double growth. In terms of materia, I've switched things around a bit. Fred is now my stealer instead of my cover artist. Instead, we have Soap as my cover artist. I almost got distracted there for a second looking at all the enemy skills. I gave him Earth, Ice All, Death Blow, Poison, and heal. Uh, Olive does have the enemy skill because she needs to kill things. Hopefully she'll be able to do that as we go along. And I believe everything else is the same. She has still long range. Soap is covering. He's in the front row. He's not that great of an attacker right now because I don't have a good weapon on him, unfortunately. In terms of attacking, that double growth is still what's holding him back from doing some good physical damage. But now we can just flat out leave Nibelheim and head north to the mountain, mountain idol. If you remember, we traveled this path in the cutscene in the past, the flashback from when Sephiroth was in town and Sheska was wearing a cowboy outfit or a cowgirl outfit. 
Either way, I, I got distracted by the outfit. Uh, we have new enemies. They're kind of reskins. Uh, we're going to go for death blows on the lay... Oh, no, he's going for lay flat. Uh, that, I believe, has a chance to kill people, which is not good. But I'm going to go for a couple Matra Magics. I, I was scared there that something was going to happen. We're going to continue to go for Death Blow. As Soap gets his Limit Break. Very nice. Lay Flat. I remember it does something. I can't always remember exactly what that is. Death Blow. Still missed. Are you kidding me? Limit. Blood Fang. Kill, uh, God, kill one of these things. Kill whatever lives. Actually, you get to go first, so whatever. It looks very similar to something that we saw before with uh, Sledfang, but he did get his MP back because of that. So we should be summoning with him from time to time if that's always going to happen. I will take the victory music any damn day. Level up for Soap. He's now in his 30s. Everybody should be catching up. You do get experience even though you are not fighting. If you're in the reserves, you do get some experience, just not as much as the rest of the party. Should we head up here? We can net ourselves the Rune Blade, which if I remember right, is a blade for Fred. It is. And it gives him an extra materia slot, more attack, more attack percentage, and it's still double growth, so I love it. And it's actually... If you don't care about Lincoln stuff, it's actually the best blade that we got for him and it's double growth which is always nice let's see what i want to put in there what am i currently working on that needs more work nothing really that's kind of disappointing well shiva needs a spot but i think i would rather put manipulate in there Do I? no i don't need anything with manipulate I, I want to get added effect in there at some point, but I need a linked slot for that. Uh, then I guess we'll go for transform and try to get that up to max. It doesn't really matter. There's nothing really else that I'm absolutely trying to work on. I, okay, need, still need to go up a little bit. Let's continue on. I don't know why the party before decided to skip all this treasure. Well, there's not very much of it, but they skipped a rune blade. I would have loved to have that, Fred. Why didn't you pick that up the first time? Just saying. Do we have new enemies here? We do not. And here, you can barely see it, but there is a path that you need to follow. Uh, I believe we can go up here and... No, that is a dead end. I thought we could jump off the end of that. Unfortunately, we have to go down and around. I know the path is hard to see, but you'll have to trust me that it is there. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to run along it. Do we have new enemies? I swore there's other things to fight here. Apparently not. Can you see the treasure chest up top? That's what we are going for. And it takes a little bit of effort to get up there. Now, once again, I swear there's something else here. Apparently not. And now from behind the mountain, we can continue to climb. And we get a plus barrette out of that. That is a new barrette for Soap. Of course, remember that he uses barrettes. And we get an extra slot in his double material, which is good. Is there... If I remember right, there wasn't really anything that we were working on. I guess Mystify? I'd rather throw Odin in there. Let's throw Odin in there. That sounds good to me. Odin, we need your help from time to time. I will try to show him off, maybe, when it's maybe a, another reskinned enemy. There are a lot of reskins, unfortunately. And of course, should it connect, he'll kill everybody, but there's always a good chance that he misses. If you try to use him in a boss battle, for instance, he will damn near always miss. I'm pretty sure always. And as a result of that battle, Olive did learn her first level three limit break, which is Planet Protector. It makes all allies invincible one time. If you time that right and the boss does a big attack, it won't do any damage to you. Now for outside of boss fights, it's not all that useful, but I will be using it as often as I can in order to get that next level, level three limit break. 
We're not going to switch it just yet though because her limit gauge is so close to full that I want to use one more limit break before I do switch over. So instead we're just going to climb this bridge here and not let it break like it did in the flashback. I have so many flashbacks to the flashback now that we are here. What we need to do here is ignore the tubes just for now. Instead, we're going to come down here, and this is vital. We're going to kick that ladder down after this fight. Do we have new enemies? I do believe there are new enemies here. These are reskins, I believe, but new nonetheless. Twin Brain, they want to stare down Fred. That's not good. I think they stopped him. Yeah, looks like they're fine. Looks like they're good. Let's go for match or magic. And continue. Oh, they're going to absorb. But they missed who they were going to absorb. Down it goes due to a death blow. Hey, he's back up and running. Good to have you with us. Let's go for another match or magic as. It looks like all of his now stopped. More death blows! Hopefully the death blows will work out in my favor. I probably should just go for a normal attack now. They're probably low enough to be fine that way. Another match magic is kind of overkill, but that's fine. That is definitely fine for now. And we get a level up for Fred. Always good. And an ether. Like I said, though, we want to kick down that ladder. I'm going to assume it was a kick and not just awkwardly climbing down it until it went down, which is what it looked like. We can now go down these tubes. That was our way up, and if you don't do the way up, you're not going to have a good time. All the way down, number two. This leads us to a shiny bag with a power soul in it. This is a weapon for Sheska that I can't equip right now, so I don't really have the opportunity to show it off. Hopefully it's double growth again. That's really what I am looking for. 